In this video, I will be showing you how you can verify your domain in Facebook Business Manager for ClickFunnels. So stay tuned. Hi, if you are new to this channel, this video, I'm Ken and I talk about digital marketing entrepreneurship. I help business owners to grow using digital marketing. So if you're interested in topics like digital marketing entrepreneurship, funnel building, Facebook advertising, do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. So previously I have a similar video like this where I have a Facebook, I have a domain verification for WordPress. So this time I'm doing it for ClickFunnels. So ClickFunnels is a little bit different because you are pointing all your domain to ClickFunnels and that will be a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Uh, you can do it. There's a few methods. So let's, let's just go ahead and let me show you how you can do it. Right? And let's jump to my computer and I can show you how. Alright, it is similar with the video that I have for WordPress where I help to verify the domain in WordPress. Uh, this is important because this is a new setting in iOS 14. So if not, you have this error same thing as well. So it is important for you to verify this domain and then add this conversion event inside the domain. Right? So how you can do this, you can clear the nine dots, the business tool, go to events manager, all right? Then you go to aggregate third event measurement, new, click on here. Then you go configure web events. Then they open up the web event configuration here. All you have to do is just go to verify domain. So this is the domain that I want to verify. First, I link it to ClickFunnels, which is Digital Lifestyle You Can. Then you click verify domain. So you can see this is the domain that I verify for the WordPress. So now I'm going to verify another domain. Alternatively, you can skip all this by just going to uh, click on the nine business tool again, nine, nine dots, the business tool again, just go to business settings. And you can go down, click on brand safety, go to domain, and you'll see the exact same thing. Why do I want to show you this method is because I, I want to let you see the, all the web event configuration that you have inside of your uh, events manager. Uh, just, just, just for information, but if you want quick, you can directly go to business setting and just do it from there. Right? So I want to add this new domain, which is, so you add domain. When you add domain, there's two methods, there's three methods, DNS verification, HTML file upload and meta tag verification. Yeah, I don't think you can do HTML file upload because you don't have access to the root directory in ClickFunnels, so you cannot add this information inside of uh, ClickFunnels, right? So what you can do is you can use two methods, which is DNS verification, or you can use meta tag verification, right? Okay, let me just show you on DNS verification. This method, right, is by adding a DNS text record inside of your domain uh, provider, right? Uh, whether you have, whether you're using Namecheap, or GoDaddy, or any other way, they have a method to that. So let me just show you on Namecheap because I'm using Namecheap personally, right? You go to Account Panel, right? Find the domain, click on Manage, then you go to Advanced DNS. Here, you click on Add New Record, find for TXT, just copy this thing, right? Post, you put that right they just click yes then all you have to do is just click verify then they will verify right this is the quite simple way to do it if you use the, the method that I've shown how to link click funnels to name chip right I have a video on that uh, once you link it this is easily be, being done in, in name chip but if you're using another software for example you link it to Cloudflare you have to do it in Cloudflare or good idea same thing as well you look for the DNS uh, advanced DNS where you can just add a DNS record right and just put it to TXT host add and then put in here then when you click verify automatically you will verify now if you don't have access to this what you're going to do right you're going to go to meta type verification so meta type verification is a bit simpler and uh, not simpler i mean depends on what kind of access do you have right okay now you go to click funnels you click on the top right then click account settings go to domain go to the domain that you want to edit right okay now what you want to do you want to set a default page of where this where the moment people click in the full domain the lifestyle with ken.com you will go to a certain funnel that you have created, right? So I created these test funnels that you can put. Let me see. Okay, so test funnel, obtain. Right, I created this, right? So you have to save. So every time when people go to this uh, this page, www.yourlifestyle.com, you will go to the default page will be here, right? Let's let's check and see, right? Yep. You will go to this funnel that I have, I have just created test one, just, just to show you how to do this, right? Now what you need to do is, you go inside the funnel. This is the funnel. Go and edit page, go to settings, go to tracking code, header code, just copy the header code here. The meta tag, right in the head section. Go to here, close, 
and then you save. Once you save, you all you have to do is just go back and you click verify. Let's just click verify and see what happened. Yep, has been verified. Right? Done. Then now you don't see it, just have to refresh. And you can see it is now verified. There's no verification pending, it's verified. So this is how you can do it with ClickFunnels, right? But the important thing is you have to link the default page to the page itself because they they check on your root, right? Not on whatever that's inside here, right? So sometimes when you even you put in here, yeah, they may have some difficulty. So so make sure you, you link it to the main page and then when they found the code, then you'll be there. After that, you can just delete the code. All right, no, no problem on that. The important thing is for the Facebook to know that you have access to this domain so that you are not doing any fraud and things like that, right? So next, now important thing is to add events manager. So now you have to refresh. Go back to your events manager, just refresh it. As you can see, it's verified. So but you need to assign event. Just click on it, go edit events. This will take 48 hours, no problem. So add events. Okay, uh, same thing as well. You For this event to be added, you need to have a pixel running. Uh, I do run pixel here, but so far it's only, I think, uh, view view content. So the pixel is here, right? Only page view. But apparently it haven't go into events manager yet. So the moment your event manager receive all these uh, events, which will take around you know one day or 48 hours, which is written here, right? Then after that, you can just add event, then it will show. Right, you click on here, choose the pixel that, you're, that you wanted to have it, and then you choose the event, whether lead or view page and things like that. It will be available here. So uh, the moment once you assign your domain to an event name, this error message will be gone. Right? How this is helpful? So this is how you can easily get your domain verified with ClickFunnels. Yep, that's it. That's how you can have your Facebook domain verified for ClickFunnels. So now whatever funnel that you run using ClickFunnels, at least the domain is verified, then it will be easier in case next time when iOS 14 comes in, or it's already in, but when they fully implement, at least your funnel will have problem, right? So at least you get the domain verified first. So I hope this video is helpful, especially for most of you ClickFunnels users. So if you have any information, any questions, feel free to put in the comment section below. You can hit me up and all my social media platform if you want to chat with me to talk more about funnel building and things like that, right? Uh, I hope you like what I share. So do consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future video. And if you find this useful, feel free to share to other people as well, right? Give me a like into this video as well. <laughs> a lot of us, but I believe this video does benefit you somehow or rather if you're watching this, right? And with that, thank you very much and I see you in my next video. Subscribe. Goodbye.